Day two, let's do it. I removed the rest of the bolts. Um, the three down under here, and I got that last one right there. And I removed the support brackets underneath. Uh, it's kind of dark, so I didn't film it. Um, that one stuck, that one stuck bolt that was right here. I managed to get that off with a, a chisel and a sledge. Let me show you where the the actual nut is, so I can show you what what it looked like after I was done with it. Oh fuck! I can't even find it. Oh, here it is. Basically, I got a chisel and I slammed it in there. I uh, made a nice divot and then I hit it at an angle to loosen it up. So, yeah. It took a little while, but I got it off. No biggie. So, everything should be detached um, and should be ready to take out. Leaking. I'm leaking. All right. So I guess I'll just undo these these star ones. I don't have the exact bit, but uh, some kind of star bit or whatever. But uh, you can use a 12 millimeter. I think I still need to get two more of these. I loosened them up earlier. And then we'll see if this fits. Uh, where the hell did it go? There it is. It's supposed to go like that. But my biggest concern is if like these are lined up correctly because it can throw off where it attaches to the block right here. Uh, I've seen some pictures and someone had put the same, well it's kind of almost the same, and uh, one of their manifolds was actually offset from the other. So that's my biggest concern. If that happens then, well screw it, I'm just going to have to have a, a flange welded up on this stock down pipe down here and get my exhaust put on that. And then all this work will just be for nothing. I guess I could paint some of those pieces since they're off, but let's get these off.
everything's installed. Uh, everything uh, bolted up all right. I just had to keep alternating between all the manifold bolts until they all tightened down flush. And the hardest thing was getting those oil feed lines threaded. And uh, after you get that, it's pretty good. It's also tight back there to get that um, intake pipe. Uh, but you can get it. You just have to have a lot of patience. I took a lot of breaks after I get frustrated. But um, since I drained the, in, uh, the coolant, I swapped out that radiator that I had and then put the fan shroud on it. Still gotta bleed the coolant. It's all filled up. I put my uh, drift motion intake. It doesn't really fit, but whatever. <laughs> the hood still closes, so it'll do for now. So everything should be good. Let's uh, let's fire it up. checks out pretty good uh, I went underneath and looked and I didn't see any leaks or anything uh, it sounds pretty beastly so I'm happy about that uh, I tried to put on this pipe right here uh, that didn't fit but the exhaust shop will take care of that um, and that's where I'm to next I think it's what is it it's 4th of July so you know be safe and have fun take care